Hello and welcome back to another strategy video. In this video I'm going to be talking uh, not only about the uh, entry but more importantly what you do after the entry. Uh, this being the case I'm going to use a very simple entry in this. You have a 50 day exponential moving average on a euro pound chart. You can see we have decidedly sliced through it and it started to turn up. So somewhere in this neighborhood, you'd be looking to go long, and that makes perfect sense. Now, unfortunately, what most traders will do is they'll look at this high here and they'll say, you know what, we're probably going to run into trouble there and they'll take their profits. Well, that is a profitable trade. It's also a mistake. By adding to the position, you can really make your... Uh, trading just accelerate to the upside so once we touch this area here you know instead of jumping out what you're waiting to see is some type of swing so you could add slightly to this position once we break above it and if you're looking at the 50-day exponential moving average you don't see any reason to be concerned at least not yet and at this point, you've got 1.2 positions. So that's your full position, and then you add 20%. Now, you can tweak the percentages to whatever you like. But I find 20% is, is enough to make a, a significant difference. The next thing that I would look at is, where's the next tie? Well, we rally here, we start to pull back a little bit, and you keep an eye on that. And then you add another 0.2%. So now you're at 1.4 um, position size. We pull back a little bit. We make another high. We pull back again. We break above that high. You could be at 1.6. Now, depending on how you played this, you probably would have ended up with... Um, this position here, this would have never been filled uh, because this position here would have uh, never really accomplished breaking above there until much later. So what you have is you have one position, uh, 1.4 positioned 1.6 and then 1.6.2 of it ends up being negative but 1.4 ends up being positive and much more positive than that so essentially what you're doing is you're adding and you're giving your trade your trend running trade an opportunity to make significant uh, improvements on a simple just buy and hold or a buy and take out the next resistance barrier by adding to your position when you get a very nice trend like this, you can really supercharge your um, returns at the end of the year. And you, and you can see, you can make the same argument here. We had this explosive candle here. It cleared that. The moving average turned right away. And, you know, even if you got in at the end of the day, you got 1.0, one full position. There's your high. We pull back. We break above there. Now you're at 1.2. We pull back. It's starting to flatten out. We break higher. Um, now you would have 1.4 all the way up here. Obviously wouldn't get it. it had very negative returns uh, or pricing over the next several sessions. Probably out then if you weren't out here. So either way, you've added to your position. This works in you know both directions, obviously. You can... Uh, also, perhaps um, look at uh, various uh, trading opportunities in this sense. So, for example, um, you can see that a choppier pair uh, has longer runs, and then we uh, pull back here. It did not make a new low, but as we rallied over here, you can see Dollar Canada up there if you went long on one of these impulsive candles 
that's your next trigger point you add it there and so on the moving average turned around that probably the point two would probably have been about a break-even trade but when you do the you know the quick spreadsheet math what happens is um, you end up not with full positions every time you add because the, the problem is with that then it becomes much more dangerous uh, you lose quite a bit more profit when you are only taking you know 20 percent of a position then it can go against you for a little bit and let you stay in the market much longer so you can see you could rally here you could pull back uh, once you get up here and you add this point too when it does pull back you still have all of this full position so you're not losing a bunch of money but it does compound think of it as compounding interest so play with this a little bit there are a million ways to do this but this is something to think about add small incremental positions on top of your core position that's already making money